home back, I want to show you something. What is it? This is me playing six years old, my own improvisation. Oh wow, six years old? Yes. Okay. Mm, I don't so? like this video. Because uh, <laughs> why? Um, I'm little and it's... <laughs> Come on, show me. Amazing. What did you say in the end? Uh, I say this, this is second moment, and you can end the video. And you can end the video. <laughs> this is amazing. This is amazing. But you know, I recognize there's one passage where I started to recognize already the style in which you start to compose now and in, in, in the way. <laughs> but but the beginning is very tonal no tonal with the uh, normal harmonies and everything when when did you start to to change this style of yours um this was my this was only my uh, start of mm -hmm. improvising because i was playing better and more and uh, i was how to say inspired by inspired, them yes but then uh, I started to making uh, some changes, mm. and it was not too harmony harmonical, and it was different. Different. And only when I was uh, eight years old, uh, I discovered contemporary music uh, on Medici. Mm -hmm. mm, yes, uh, it was a Bluebird Castle. Okay. Um, uh, and it was really very new for me, and I listened eight times this opera uh, because I didn't understand at first time. Okay. I didn't understand at second time, <laughs> uh, and then wow. I started. I started, and I uh, I understood all tense, all motives, and all passages. Passages, and then I started playing vocal scores. Um, it was only not Bartok, it was Shostakovich, Lady Macbeth. Mm -hmm. um, a strong piece. Yes, Lady Macbeth was in Sensk. Lulu Alban Berg. Berg um, On the piano, you started to play? What? Yes. Eight I, years old? Eight years old, and I was listening to them very nine times, eight times, because it was very it's interesting for me, and I wanted to discover and to. And the top of my ear, I was not doing this special, but mm -hmm. uh, I wanted my intuition to understand this all because I liked it very much. And, and I understood that it was very near with my style. Really? Yes. Uh, and you played, uh, uh, how, how did, did you take the score of Lulu Berg or by ear, by the ear? No, uh -huh. uh, I uh, score, mm -hmm. I, I was playing. Uh, I was teaching this one year. I was not playing any uh, normal piano repertoire. It was only vocal scores, piano transcriptions. Wow. Okay. Uh, and it was. Uh, and you were doing this with your grandmother. She was helping uh, you, or were you no, doing without, it alone? No, without because she also was listening to me. But she uh, then did not help me to this because I I didn't want it as this. <laughs> okay. Uh, it was uh, only myself and. Mm, and also my mother liked it very much, contemporary music. She of Soviet um, country, uh, she didn't know so many uh, more contemporary music. Or, but uh, now she, I, I started to playing this and she agreed with me that it's very good. Yes. <laughs>
I remember you told me once, I think, about also Schoenberg and, and, and Weber. And when you discovered the whole concept, let's say, mm -hmm. the idea of, uh, for example, 12 tone system, did you also try to go in this uh, direction, in the 12 tone system, or this you didn't do? I was doing before mm -hmm. then I discovered them. <gasps> Because and it's not was exactly that, but yes, it was not serial I, uh, yes, twelve uh, tones. Okay, no, never special something. Mm -hmm. But yes. I I understand that it's very near with styles of music, my improvisation and uh, their compositions. Mm -hmm. Yes, and for you, um, for example, the emotional uh, content of of the more classical, as you said, Mozart, Beethoven, huh? It's classic, not classical, classicism. Classical classicism. is all, all classical. Yes, yes, thank you for correcting me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but about, about the emotional content that you research in this atonal music, when you go more for atonal, what do you, what do you want to represent with the music? Is that is that a combination of sounds which is speaking to you or is that vibrations or are those intervals or is it more polyphonic or is it more vertical how do you um how do you project when you start to compose then um 12 tone system is not my it's not uh, okay. exact because yes. 12 tone system and serialism yeah, have it needs the to be the rounds. shape yes Mm. And, but I have uh, more maybe uh, uh, also tonal. I can mix tonal also. Uh, but when I am making only a tonal, mm -hmm. it is uh, always freeing. It's um, polyphonic, uh, not vertical. I have not so not so much. Not so much. But in this video that we watched, uh, this when you come back always to the same motif. Yes. This you kept. This you still have in your compositions. Yes, there I is can... always this like I... almost idée yes. fix, mm, no? Yes. And do they have maybe it's a stupid question, but do they have um do those themes do they represent something in your head already or is it more like just a musical theme or do you have an idea behind it? Do you have something that it actually represents? Uh, a feeling, an idea, a state of mind, or is it just something that you hear and you know that this is going to be the melody I played? How does it work for you to have those themes? How yeah. do you imagine them? It's maybe both, but no, no, not well, it's not, not just not, one. And yes, not the, not just one because mm -hmm. um, it's more complex. More complex, yes. Uh, I have, um, I am returning to them more some uh, sabo. Uh, more yourself. Yourself, yes. yes. Mm. Um, how it goes? Maybe I cannot return because I can I can do, develop composition in another way. Yes. More. Yes. Okay. But then, eventually, still you would come back, no? In yes. the very end, when when yes. everything settles. Yeah. This is very beautiful. It means you have a very good. I mean, what I hear in your music is that you have a very good sense of shape and this is something I like very much because I can understand it. I remember when I heard you first time when Lisa Batyashvili mm -hmm. uh, told us that we have to listen to you mm -hmm. and uh, there was uh, Lahav also, Shani, and uh, was in Sinandali when we met and, uh, and then she said no no you have to come absolutely listen so we came and, and we sat in this small room, you remember, and you just started to play. Mm -hmm. You had no problem and then you played your own pieces. What was this piece again? It's five movements, no? Yes. Uh, the, um, uh, How is it called? Album Blood. It's, uh, what does it mean? Uh, album Leaves, how to say. Album? Leaves. Leaves. Yes, five movements. And the first movement is a bit slow, no? Yes. And I remember when you came to this almost like fugue, no? How, mm. how is this movement called? Mm, no name. No, no name. It's third movement? Third or fourth movement? I forgot. Uh, which? This fast one, this crazy one. Fast, it's fast second. Movement. It's second, it's second movement. I remember that 
we all looked at each other with lahav, lahav was like this. I was like this. And Lisa was, I told you. <laughs> and, and you played all by memory, everything by memory. There was not a, and, and then I think you told us that you didn't start yet to write music. Writing, no. You didn't start back then. Yes. You had to write Lisa's part, no? For the piece with Lisa. Yes, uh, I never, I never was writing down in my composition. I also didn't like to record. Uh, ah, okay. I don't, I didn't like that. So you, everything in the head always. Uh, not everything. Uh, this was problem. Right? Mm -hmm. It was at the beginning. At the beginning, yeah. yes, but. Uh, then I I did pop time by and boy that Lisa Lisa Batesh introduced to him me yes uh, to by and boy he I had master classes and he asked me uh, to write for Lisa Batesh really yes something and for your good man that Lisa also introduced to him clarinetist and composer composer yes of course um, and I wrote for Lisa this was my first time uh, ever I wrote something right now. It was my first time, mm -hmm. uh, and first chamber music, mm -hmm. um, and I played. I, I wrote only for Lisa. So the, the violin part. Only for the, violin. Yes, 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 yes. Because I, I, I didn't know so much um, writing so fast. It's it's uh -huh, difficult uh -huh. for me. Yes. And then what? Then it was more difficult, and I didn't uh, wrote my part. I was playing with Lisa. This 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 was incredible. I remember, I remember <laughs> when you started to rehearse, and she said, "From where should we start?" And you said, "Start from there." And she starts playing the violin part. <laughs> you had all the piano part just while looking at the violin part. This was this was really incredible. But it's not easy what you wrote. No, not easy. <laughs> for violin, <laughs> it's not easy at all. I remember she told me she was pretty scared actually to play. She didn't want to play because she needed to practice. You're you're incredible, and now you started to write. Now I, I wrote for fun orchestra and piano. It was my first composition okay. for orchestra. For orchestra, I dedicated it to Ukraine. It was uh, performed for premiere was in in Ingolstadt. Out the summer concert. It's uh, summer concert by Elizabeth Shashvili. Yes, I played with Georgia. Camel Orchestra mm -hmm. and uh, um, Nicolas Sachuri, he is a die conductor yes. uh, and composer also and uh, he conducted we uh, we had only one and a half day to uh, to compare it uh, with me and with orchestra and it was very difficult to uh, temps and to, to put it together to put it together and mm -hmm. I we had only one and a half day it was uh, impossible, almost impossible to, wow. uh, and uh, but Nika uh, did it something really, really wonderful, and it was very good. Yes. Wow! Yes. So you were happy with the result? Yes, of course. And Zotne, I have a little, little um, other question about these compositions of yours and your playing. Uh, I know that you dedicated uh, one of your first, I think, concerts. It was first, yes. First concert uh, to your mom. Yes, I had no wish to play in this, any concerts, but my grandmother students had a concert and they dedicated to my mother. Because she left you? Yes, she's she, passed away. She really passed away when you were? Five years old. Uh, and all my music is dedicated to her. And when I listened to them, my grandmother students, uh, I also wanted to play a concert and they take it to her, and they asked them, and they had my concert uh, on 14. And it was a really big day. I was very, very nervous because I felt, I saw people, so they were, uh, this was very new for me. Yes. This stage is, it was new, new for me, and I was playing with all heart, and it was dedicated to You always play with whole heart. <laughs> and and I believe now in, in Verbier when you played. Yes. It was. It was also. And accidentally, festival organizers 
uh, attended my concert uh, at, uh, on 17 July, July. of July. This is birthday of my mom. And it was absolutely accidentally, and I was very happy that it uh, it was on days that my mom had birthday, and I think it's I the played... best birthday. Yes, <laughs> for her, the best. 